What you will need for this experiment is some bicarb soda, vinegar, diluted washing detergent, some cylinders or, well, cups. Measuring cup, a whiteboard marker, a big tub, and something to write with. For this experiment, we have to add bicarb soda and the dishwashing liquid, stir that up, and then add the vinegar. The first step is to mark where the dishwashing liquid must go up to. Now we're going to fill the cup up to this point. Add half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. And mix this up. And now we're going to add 50 ml of vinegar. Now we're going to let the cup rest and measure how much liquid remains. In the meantime, we can prepare our next one. And this time, we will add a full teaspoon of bicarb soda. That. And now I'll leave this to rest and see if it makes it if there's a difference between the first trial and this trial. For this one we'll add one and a half teaspoons of bicarb soda. Putting that down with the other two. And now our final trial of two full teaspoons. What's happening here is the vinegar and bicarb soda are reacting to create CO2 gas and water and sodium acetate. Vinegar is mainly an acid as acetate and bicarb soda reacts with most acids. The detergent is just there to make all the bubbles. Now we can gather our results. This is
cup was the um, the half a teaspoon of bicarb soda trial. Can I measure this up? So after the bubbles have compressed, it is now 75 mils of liquid left. This is the one teaspoon of bicarb soda. This one only has 50 milliliters. This is my one and a half teaspoon one. Which now measures at 25 milliliters. And finally, my two teaspoon one. which also measures in 25 milliliters. I then completed two more trials of each. The results show that if there's a half a teaspoon of bicarb soda, it'll be 70 mils of, water, of liquid remaining. One teaspoon, 50 mils. One and a half, 25 mils. And two teaspoons, there'll be around 15 mils. This also supports the chemical equation. Therefore, we can conclude the more teaspoons of bicarb there are, the more evaporation occurs. There are several ways we can improve this experiment. One is to get a taller glass as a lot of liquid overflow. Second is that vinegar was not poured efficiently into the cup. This could be fixed by using a funnel. However, considering this, the experiment was performed quite well and had considerably good data, proving an obvious trend. <laughs>